Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new Playmates toys, their Godzilla line, the rest of them, the wave that really came out and wasn't painted all that well, if you remember Space Godzilla and such. So we got Godzilla 1995, which is like burning Godzilla. Here's everything on the back of the packaging, in case you're wondering. Here's the barcodes for each figure. And then we have Jet Jaguar, which is actually pretty cool. I'm glad that they released it. It's different, you know what I mean? It's not just another Godzilla, it's a different character. These are running for about 13 bucks or so. Found them at my local Target, which you can check out in the like NECA Funko Entertainment section. Or if they have like an anime section to target, some of those. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Playmates Toys Jet Jaguar and 1995's Burning Godzilla. So let's talk about these now that we got them out of the packaging. For being just the basic type of vinyl, they are a little bit more hard plastic than soft, I would say, especially on Godzilla. I mean, of course, there's certain elements where they're a little bit softer, but... The one thing I'll point out right away is that they are painted so much better than previous Playmates offerings. And it looks good, especially with this burning Godzilla. The eyes, the paint, the way it all connects, it really looks like it put a little bit of effort in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, whereas before the paint apps were just, woo, no. The one discrepancy, like, I'll show you right now. The, the really nice blue black of the plastic is nice. The orange on his back fins really done nice and I think that like right here is where it should have been faded just a little bit more because this tail looks like it could belong to a different figure it doesn't have the orange to it or at least like a fade so the paint in that sense is a little bit off but everything else I mean look at the eyes and it's they look like eyes you get some rotation in the head the arms again basic so if you're not into it you're not into these but i like the simplicity of these it's nice sometimes the legs will kick out and then you have a nice tail articulation as well which comes as a separate piece but you can simply pop it in really really nicely <laughs> like kind of like the other godzilla figures for the uh, godzilla versus kong movie but yeah he's cool godzilla Jet Jaguar is one that I was like, oh man, that's gonna be cool. That'd be a new addition to the old uh, Godzilla verse sort of thing on my shelf. Beautifully painted on this guy. I love the, the, the color choice, the palette that they chose matches up perfectly. I like the really light reds, the blues, and all of it, again, it's done in a really nice, cohesive way. The sculpt on him is really nice. The articulation is what it is. So again, if you're not into the, the really simple articulation and what these are meant for, then no, it's not going to be for you. But it's the head, the arms, and then he twists at the waist, right? The one thing that's unfortunate, and I have to point it out, is that when I got home, the arm on my Jet Jaguar had fallen off. Now, I was under the impression that he had articulation. See, on this side, you can kind of see, it looks like it would turn, especially down here on the legs. It's just assembly. So I did have to just put some glue. It just, the glue fell off, so it didn't break. The major problem with this guy is he doesn't stand. <laughs> like, at all. So you can always support him some other way. But if you're a stickler for this kind of thing, now, they could have, they could have improved on this. And when you twist him at the waist and everything else, you move the arms, the legs. If if he's offset in some parts, yeah, he'll stand. I recommend a stand. Now, that's not ideal. So in that sense, I'm going to say, if you're a big Jet Jaguar fan, this will probably be for you. But for those of you just whatevers, no, this is not going to work. In scaling him up with, let's say, NECA Godzilla figures, you get a much heavier, more detailed with NECA toys but they do look good next to each other. Like even the, the recent Playmates Godzilla versus Kong figure, this Godzilla is actually taller than the Mecha Godzilla, which I mean, I wish he could have been a little bit taller, more in scale. Jet Jaguar, same thing. You know, he'll go well with other monsters, Godzilla, Kong, all that kind of stuff. They're fun to kind of mash them up and put them together. Let's say the Neca Kong with Jet Jaguar, a little bit taller and such. So it's a it's a mixed bag. But I would say for the most part, they're all around that general scale for these types of figures. There's really not a lot to really go over. The articulation is simple. The paint is simple, but the paint is great. So I'll give them that all day. It's a nice upgrade to what we kind of got with previous offerings from Playmates Godzilla Toys. 
I really like burning Godzilla. The only issue I have is I wish that the paint would have gone a little bit more gradient into the tail. That's a nitpick. Other than that, it's exactly what you want. It's a nice looking Godzilla. Jet Jaguar, paint, sculpt, everything. Fantastic, doesn't stand. So in that sense, going into it, if you watch this, know that you're not gonna stand him. <laughs> Unless you get a stand, which I mean works, but ideally, no, you'd like him to stand. Put peg holes on the bottom of the feet of these things. You know what I mean? If you can, that would have been better some way or give him a stand in the box or don't have him sculpted like that. There's another thing. They're cool for what they are. I dig them. I won't say that I'm going to recommend them to everybody, but if you're a Godzilla fan, yeah, I think you'll be into them. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Are these for you? Are they like, eh, no, no thanks. That's, I'll pass, but thanks. <laughs> Let me know, let's talk everything. Godzilla and the monsters and Jet Jaguar and what's your favorite Godzilla movie? I'm really enjoying all the Godzilla toys that are coming out right now. This is, this is fun. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to Godzilla, there's only one king of the monsters, it's Kong. People are like, unfollowed. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.